Now, your NBC Montana Sports Report. Turning to sports now, Montana's second high school baseball state tournament is beginning today over at Ogren Park in Missoula. The state's top eight teams are currently facing off in the state quarterfinals. NBC Montana's Alex Hoffman is standing by live at the stadium. And Alex, how's the action so far? Laurel, there's really been nonstop action since we got here this morning. Game one came down to a one-run game. Game two featured an offensive explosion on both sides of the ball. But don't take my my word for it. Let's see the highlights. Belgrade and Whitefish kicked off this year's tournament with the Panthers coming in at the top of the East Division. Take it to the bottom of the third with Belgrade down one. No problem for Kean Kraft, who belts one up the middle. But this game was pure back and forth. Whitefish is CJ through, slaps one to third, and check out the wheels on Carson Bram beating out the throw to get the lead back. Nothing the bunting game can't solve for Belgrade. Landon Wanders knots the game right back up. Another tie game means Whitefish needs to capitalize and a wild pitch would do the trick. But the defensive struggles plagued both sides today. The Panthers land a hit and a pickle situation goes bad. Nobody covers home as this game is tied again. The madness ensues in the bottom of the six as Calvin Eisenberg channels his inner Jackie Robinson. Steals home plate to take the lead. Whitefish holds on to the lead, but with two outs in the bottom of the seventh, Gage Banks puts on the cape and slaps one to right. Tie game again. The Bulldogs play two in the top of the eighth. You already know Belgrade finds a way to tie it. And with the bases loaded, Brayden Van Dyken lays down the bun to win the game as Belgrade clinches victory from the jaws of defeat twice to keep their season alive, winning it eight to seven. Our second game of the day featured Eureka and Florence Carlton. The Falcons feel like it's their year, and they wasted no time showcasing why. Bottom of the third inning, Isaiah Testerman breaks the game wide open with a shot up the middle to clear the loaded bases. Falcons take an 8-3 lead into the fourth, and from there, Eureka would begin to slowly chip away and eventually made it a one-run game in the sixth inning. That's when Testerman comes up clutch again. Hitting a hard hit ball that the third baseman can't come up with. His fourth RBI of the game puts the Falcons up four. And in comes Jake Roth, who strikes out the side in order in the top of the seventh to put a cap on the 11 a 7 win. The only thing filthier than his jersey were his pitches. Go get that dry clean before tomorrow, young man. And right now, Bew is currently in the midst of pulling off a major upset to the defending state champion, Polson. They currently lead 10-4, to 4, but more importantly, if I'm at Ogren Park, you know I gotta have a hot dog. And what's a hot dog if you're not putting mustard on it? So, for now, live in Missoula, Alex Hoffman, MVC Montana Sports. <laughs> and that hot dog looks really good. Thank you, Alex. There's more.